Hi, this is Shubham from Moonish View, and today in this podcast we gonna talk about thematic funds. Here we gonna discuss about what these thematic funds are, what are their features, benefit, how to invest, and how you can accumulate wealth through thematic fund. Before starting this episode, if you want to read the full article about thematic fund, then you can read article which is on our blog, and the link of the article provided is in description. So let's discuss what is the need of a thematic Fund. The COVID-19 pandemic struck the Indian economy drastically and various industries suffered the repercussions of a lockdown and stagnant demand. However, amid all the chaos, the pharma and the FMCG sector saw a boost as a medicine and necessities were the need of an hour. If you had invested in this sector, you might have earned very good return on them. Alternatively, if you want to invest as per the particular theme, you can resort to this thematic fund. So here is the main question what are these thematic funds thematic funds are equity oriented mutual fund scheme that invest at least 80 percent of their portfolio in equity stock and securities of a company that are aligned to a common theme for example in case of an infrastructure fund the portfolio of a mutual fund scheme would be allocated to the stock of companies in the construction power steel cement and other sector that are directly linked with an infrastructure scheme let's understand how do thematic funds works. Under the thematic funds, the fund manager identify a central theme and builds a portfolio around it. Investor willing to invest in the scheme pull their investment into a corpus. The fund manager then allocate the corpus to the equity oriented infrastructure company that match with the overall theme of a fund. The portfolio is therefore diversified but with respect to the scheme. When the value of underlying asset of a portfolio increases, you can earn profit. If however the value falls, you endure loss. Losses. Let's understand thematic sectoral funds. Thematic funds may sound very similar to a sectoral funds. However, these funds are different from one another. The main distinction comes from the scope of a diversification. Sectoral fund invest in a particular sector. For example, pharma fund would invest in a stock companies engaged in pharmaceutical or healthcare business. Thematic fund, on the other hand, have a wider scope of diversification. They invest as per the central theme, and this theme might have a multi-sectoral approach as well. For example, E S G scheme fund include stock of a different sector like IT, retail, power, construction among them. Let's understand the common example of this thematic fund. While infrastructure funds are very popular type of a thematic mutual fund in India, there are different funds for different schemes. For example, technology theme fund, manufacturing theme fund, Indian consumption focused fund, ESG fund, central public sector enterprise fund, and MNC funds. Let's discuss what are the different benefits of this thematic fund. The first and major benefit of this thematic fund is diversification. One of the main benefits of thematic fund is that they offer considerably diversification approach. Since they are essentially equity oriented mutual fund, the portfolio is diversified across quality picks of a stock universe. That part, thematic funds have an option of investing across different sectors, diversifying the portfolio further. Moreover, since the portfolio is professionally managed, we don't face the hassle of picking the right stock for wealth minimization or maximization based on your goal. The second and most important benefit is an attractive return. Choosing the right team at the right time is the most complex activity performed when looking to invest in a thematic fund. If you can identify the right theme which has a potential to grow in the future, you may get a good returns on your investments. You may need to assess the market sentiments, explore industry prospects and look at the government rules and regulation that may impact business in India and and identify them that exhibits potential to grow. Alternatively, you may reach out to a professional advisor for assistance in picking this scheme. Let's understand are the thematic funds are right for you or the amount of mindset you need to invest in this thematic fund. Thematic funds can be a good addition to your portfolio. However, you should assess the sustainability of this fund. So let's discuss what are the different type of investor would invest in this kind of fund. The first one is those who have healthy risk capital. Since thematic funds are equity oriented scheme, you need to have a matching risk capital to bear volatility risk. Though the risk might be diversified due to portfolio allocation, they would not be entirely eliminated. So if you are a risk adverse, be mindful for that risk. The second category of investors are those who have a long term investment horizon. Equity mutual fund can offer a good return if you invest with a medium to a long term horizon. So if you have 
सो छे इन्वेस्टमेंट होरिजन यू कैन इन्वेस्ट इन अ थीमेटिक स्कीम एंड गेट अ गुड रिटर्न शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टर हाउएवर मे फेस हाई वोलेटिलिटी इफ अंडरलाइंग स्कीम डज नॉट परफॉर्म एज पर देयर एक्सपेक्टेशन द थर्ड सेट ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स आर दोस इन्वेस्टर्स हु हैव अ मार्केट नॉलेज टू आइडेंटिफाई पोटेंशियल थीम थीमेटिक इन्वेस्टिंग वर्क्स वेल ओनली व्हेन यू कैन टैप इनटू अ राइट थीम टू नो व्हिच थीम हैज अ गुड फ्यूचर पोटेंशियल यू नीड टू बी अ कन्वीनिएंट फॉर द मार्केट फैक्टर्स एंड इन्फ्लुएंसर दस इन्वेस्टर्स हु हैव अ बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मार्केट दोस हु कैन आइडेंटिफाई पोटेंशियल थीम आर मोर सूटेबल टू पिक थीमेटिक फंड फॉर देयर पोर्टफोलियो द फोर्थ वे इज टू दोस इन्वेस्टर्स हु आर लुकिंग फॉर डाइवर्सिफिकेशन लास्टली इन्वेस्टर लुकिंग टू डाइवर्सिफाई अक्रॉस डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स इट अ सिंगल इन्वेस्टमेंट कैन इन्वेस्ट इन थीमेटिक स्कीम डाइवर्सिफिकेशन इज द की बेनिफिट ऑफ अ थीमेटिक फंड एंड इन्वेस्टर लुकिंग फॉर अ डाइवर्सिफाइड एंड प्रोफेशनली मैनेज पोर्टफोलियो फाइंड दिस सूटेबल एज पर देयर इन्वेस्टमेंट गोल्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड थिंग्स टू बी रिमेंबर बिफोर इन्वेस्टिंग इन अ थीमेटिक फंड द फर्स्ट वन इज रिफ्रेन फ्रॉम पिकिंग फंड्स बेस्ड ऑन द हिस्टोरिक परफॉर्मेंस अलोन हिस्टोरिक रिटर्न्स आर नॉट द एक्यूरेट इंडिकेटर ऑफ अ फ्यूचर रिटर्न्स पिक अ स्कीम बेस्ड ऑन द थीम दैट यू बिलीव व्हिच हैज अ हाई पोटेंशियल ऑफ ग्रोथ इन फ्यूचर सेकंड कंपेयर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थीमेटिक स्कीम विद इन सेक्टर आउटसाइड द सेक्टर व्हाइल चूजिंग द फंड इट विल गिव यू अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव ओवरव्यू ऑफ द फुल मार्केट द थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट क्राइटेरिया इज चेक द एक्सपेंस रेशियो ऑफ अ डिफरेंट फंड्स द फोर्थ वन इज बीवेयर ऑफ अ टैक्सेशन एट द टाइम ऑफ रिडम्पशन इफ यू रिडीम योर इन्वेस्टमेंट विद इन 12 मंथ्स द रिटर्न अर्न वुड बी टैक्स एट 15% एट अ शॉर्ट टर्म एंड इफ इट्स मोर देन 12 मंथ्स अप टू 1 लाख इट्स टैक्स फ्री ओवर एंड अबव इट्स 10% सो लेट डिस्कस व्हाट इज अ बॉटम लाइन ओवर हियर थीमेटिक फंड इज आल्सो अ गुड इंस्ट्रूमेंट प्रोडक्ट प्रोवाइडेड बाय द रेगुलेटर्स फॉर अ इन्वेस्टर इट प्रोवाइड्स अ मच वाइडर अप्रोच for diversification and you can bet on the future growth sector so thank you guys for joining with us if you want to read the full article about this then the link of article provided in a description here shubham from monistu signing off